welcome to Adventures in Costuming. I'm your host, Nola. Today, we're going to be working on pocket hoops, also known as paniers. Paniers are 18th century undergarments designed to make your hips look wide and your waist look super tiny. But I have to be unique, so I'm not going to do traditional paniers. I have to make steampunk paniers. I started out with brass flat stock that I purchased from my local hardware store. My original plan was to make the entire thing brass, and I started by doing this. And then I decided that it just wasn't working right and I didn't like the look of it. So I ditched that. I've then spent the next several weeks figuring out how exactly to make this work. I wanted a base for it, and I wanted uh, sides. Doing it this way, it's still going to be collapsible, so I can transport it easily, but with the bottom, I'm able to put stuff in it. So as I do my second side, I'll take you through the process so you can learn how to do this too. Assembling the bottom first is the easiest way to put this together. I began by marking and drilling holes for the rivets. Then I bent my flat stock into my desired shape and drilled holes into my pieces for the bottom. Starting at the center, I riveted the bottom of the basket. I made sure to include the ribbon for my sides and I wove the pieces together as I went. After that, I bent the brass ends to achieve the evenly spaced basket weave bottom. I drilled holes at the junctions and riveted them in place. Working my way from the bottom to the top, I added the next row of flat stock. I purposely put things at an angle so that it would be more interesting to look at. And it also resembled more closely the historical pieces that I was looking at for inspiration. Once I got to the top, I wove the ribbon up to the waistband that I had created, and then I sewed both sides of the panniers to the waistband. I added a piece of flat stock in the center back that connects the two sides together. Each side got two rivets for added stability. The sides stay in place and the whole thing came together perfectly. The second side took me about four total hours of work and then another three hours to assemble the finished panniers. If you'd like to see more great content and what new projects and surprises we're working on, subscribe, hit like, and ring the bell. If you have an idea for a project that you'd like to see us tackle, comment and let us know. See you next time.